Hello, I am DJ from the University of Washington, presenting our work on tactile sound awareness device. The world is filled with the rich diversity of sound, ranging from actionable cues like a microwave boob to safety related cues like a fire alarm. In many situations, however, sound is inaccessible to people who are deaf and hard of hearing. While hearing aids and cochlear implants can improve sound awareness, they are not suitable for all hearing wing aids. Thus, we explore a complementary approach tactile based sound awareness. Most prior work on tactile feedback with DSS users was conducted over 20 years ago. The perception of wearable devices and the cultural norms of DSS people have changed much since then. We examined how a modern tactile technology could create into the life of DSS people. Let me introduce our device before describing our main contribution, that is the field study. Our device called Vive is a black 2x2 two two inch wrist one prototype it vibrates proportional, proportional to the loudness of the sound. So you can imagine as the loudness of sound increases around you, the device will vibrate with a higher intensity. During the field study, 12 DHS participants used that device in the daily light for four weeks and took part in a semi-structured interview. We found that most people use vibe not only to perform any required action, for example, turn the microwave off, but also for experiential purposes. For example, I would do bird photography. So when I was walking in the woods, the device started vibration like the bird car. That gives me some indication of how a bird call might sound like, makes me feel closer to the nature. Interestingly, some participants become more conscious about their own activity that produce sound. For example, I sometimes leave my car indicator light on as I can't hear. It usually happens after I take a short turn and the light doesn't go off. Now with the device, I know when to turn it off. However, there were also drawbacks. Poor participants stop using the device at home because it provides very little feedback and I know what is going on around my home. In reflection, Beyond providing actionable sound information, sound helps hearing people feel immersed and present in the world. That we should examine ways to provide experiential sound cues to DHS people. Our work is a step in the direction, but future work would need to imagine and investigate more complex sound to tactile mapping. Thank you.